What's up everybody? We're going to do a quick little video about how to tell if your carbon fiber part is really carbon fiber or is it just one layer of carbon with fiberglass backing. Coming up. I put carbon fiber in kind of air quotes because we'll see the difference between a real carbon fiber part, one made with carbon fiber on every layer, better core material, better process versus a more typical one layer of carbon backed with fiberglass in a wet lay technique. So we're going to go over how to tell the difference between the two and we're also going to weigh them from this scale right here so you can actually see the difference. Um, one thing to note, I left the mirror on both of them. The metal part of the hinges is on both of them as well as the door handles and all the latch hardware should be about similar we can say the surface area of both of them is similar as well so here they are flipped around you can see our door the mustang door it's a little bit taller um, but you can see the latch hardware is still in it the hinges on the bmw door versus my mustang door um, these are much bigger so that might add some weight uh, to, to our door as well. So the easiest way to tell if your part is a real carbon fiber part or not is the inside of a real carbon part will still look like carbon fiber. It'll have a muted texture. Um, this is the uh, texture from like a peel ply finish. If it's a little bit shinier, it's made with a perf ply. Uh, it's a little bit technical for this video, but a fiberglass backed part such as this you can see this is just a fiberglass cloth it's not carbon fiber you can also see if the light catches it right you can see like shinier spots than other bits that means this was done by a wet lay process as well um, that's where you just put the fiberglass and everything in the mold, slap on your resin, and let it cure. That results in a much heavier part as well, as the vacuum process will consolidate the layers and draw out that extra resin or epoxy, depending on what you use. <clears throat> the other thing is, what we're going to do is go look up and from the inside, and you'll probably be able to see light coming through it. There you go, there, there's a big, so I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm rubbing my hand over the outside of it. So what that is, is just one layer of carbon is laid into the mold and then it's backed with fiberglass because fiberglass becomes opaque when it gets wet out. This company tried to kind of hide it a little bit by spraying the inside of the door black and then down here, this is actually a repair that I did a while ago. Um, we just used a chop strand mat. If the inside of your door has this texture to it, uh, that's an obvious one. That's fiberglass uh, whenever you see that texture. Seventeen point eight pounds for this door. Now remember, this door was made with the typical one layer of carbon in the mold first, and then fiberglass backing throughout with a wet lay process. Zeroed it out. Ten point two reflection. Ten point two eight pounds for this door. Now remember that this door was made with carbon fiber the whole way. There is a, core, a honeycomb core material in this part of the door, specifically for the infusion process, which is how this door was made. Resin infusion versus a wet lay. You can see how much weight can be saved on a very similarly sized door. 
So there you have it, two quote unquote carbon fiber doors, one made with better materials, a better process, comes in at just over 10 pounds with all the hardware. Don't forget, this door itself, stripped, is about six pounds versus one made with cheaper materials, cheaper process, comes in 70% heavier than our door. So not necessarily anything wrong with this technique, especially if price point is something that's important to you. Um, just know that there's a difference between uh, what is sold as carbon fiber between two different parts. The last bit to note as well is anytime you see a blacked out edge around a part like this, there's a good chance that it's fiberglass because when they bond the outer skin to the inner structure, you end up with like a white line here where you have to cut through the fiberglass. So they paint this little black trim line on it to hide that white fiberglass edge. So a black little trim line like this is usually a good indicator that a part is made with fiberglass. So there you go. Hopefully that kind of helped you out a little bit. Um, so that way you can tell if your carbon fiber part is actually real carbon or is it one layer of carbon backed with fiberglass. Um, I want to say there's nothing technically wrong with this process, especially if price point is, you know, your big selling point. Just know that a better system and a better process will yield a better part. You'll see the results of a door made this way versus a door made the way we make our parts here at RHR.